Welcome to Experience 8, Project 1, excuse me, Project Euler Problem 1. <clears throat> this is our first example of using the TypeScript Playground and trying to write TypeScript code. Um, we're going to Airbnb style guide for the code we're writing, so that means we're going to use let and const, not var. We should be doing everything in the Chrome browser. And so we're going to first open the TypeScript Playground in a new tab. And then I want to look at the problem that we're going to do is let me clear my timer, start my timer. We're going to do problem one from Project Euler. So problem one is multiples of three or five. If we list all the natural numbers below 10, there are multiples of 3 or 5. We get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of that is 23. To find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1,000, that's our problem that we're going to do. So we're going to go into TypeScript Playground. And then I'm going to delete all this code because I've been playing with this for other things. So we're going to do... We need a function and it should be called project Euler one. And it takes no parameters and it returns a number. Now to make this a little bit easier for me, I'm going to write a helper function. And it's going to take a, a num and it's going to return the a number. So this is going to this helper function is going to actually do the work. And then this guy is going to call return helper of a thousand. So I can actually test it using the 10 later. Or so what do we want to do? We want to do a for loop. And we go i is less than number. Or num i plus plus i forgot i need to have a let sum i don't need to do the type but i do anyway we initialize it to zero and then we return the sum so now we need to do our logic of if it's a multiple of three or a multiple of five, we want to add that value i to sum. But if it's a multiple of three and five, then we don't want to add it twice. So we're going to say if i mod three, and we use the three equals zero, and i mod 5 equal equal to 0 so it's if it's both that sum plus sum plus come on equal i else if i mod 3 equal 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 to zero then it's a ma it's a multiple of three plus equal i else if i mod five is equal to zero plus equal i and then we return sum. So now let's test this. Helper of 10. 
And notice, I will just give you a little background of this TypeScript playground. We have the version of TypeScript we're running. We can hit the run button. We can export it to save it. We can share it, which will create this URL that's unique for our code. And we've got, to, we can see what the JavaScript, it compiles to the JavaScript. We can see the typing, the .d.ts is a type file. Any errors in here, if I had some errors in my code, I would have some errors. And if I run it, I'll see the logs if I have any console logs. So if I run this, I hope I get a 23. And I get a 23. So that is correct. So if I have the numbers, some of these multiples is 23. I'll get a 23. So it looks like my helper is working. So now let's log Euler, project Euler one. To give me the answer for, sorry, multiples of three or five. And let's see what we get. I can hit the run. So apparently all the multiples of three and five, when you sum them up is 233,168. And to, I can clear the log and run it again. So I can see that I have my 23 for 10 and then a thousand. And I can look at my timer and I can hit pause. So six minutes. So in six minutes, I am average. So that's pretty good. Now I want to do go over here and hit the share to create this URL. So I could save this URL. And I could, if I were submitting it to Laulima, I could submit this URL. And this URL will Let's see, I'll copy it, open a new tab, paste it, and it loads, and you can see that it loads my code. So this URL will load my code, and it's a quite long URL because it encodes all the code in the thing. So I hope this was helpful. We're going to be using the TypeScript Playground for many of our early TypeScripts where we're talking about basic TypeScript, when we talk about objects, and when we talk about functional programming. We'll be using that as we get along further. We'll be doing TypeScript using um, a TypeScript compiler and in the client of your Chrome browser. And then eventually we'll be using it on the server side when we get into Next.js. Thank you very much.